Hey folks, how's it going? So, earlier today, I went out and ran some errands, picked up a few things at the grocery store, stopped at Lowe's and made copies of some keys, you know, just going out taking care of business type stuff, and I wore a face mask the entire time that I was out. And I was not the only person that I saw wearing some kind of face covering, but I was one of the only people. The overwhelming majority of my fellow shoppers were not wearing any kind of face mask, any kind of protection whatsoever. So I just wanted to take a minute and make a video here and explain why I still wear a face mask when I go out. And I'll take you through it step by step because the reasoning might be a little complex for some people. The reason that I still wear a face mask when I go out is I don't want to catch COVID. I haven't caught it yet, and I would like to keep that streak going. You know why I haven't caught it yet? Because I wear one of these fucking things when I go out, and because I've been vaccinated. I've been vaccinated and boosted. My COVID vaccines are completely up to date. I got my bivalent booster a couple weeks ago. I am vaxxed, buddy, and I wear one of these. So I'm probably, as long as I continue to be careful, I'm probably not going to get it. And I would like for that to continue to be a thing. 1,300 people died of COVID-19 in the United States yesterday. 1,300 people. And if that's not enough reason to continue to wear one of these and be careful, here's another little bit of information for you. It's estimated, nobody knows for sure, right? But it's estimated that in order to achieve herd immunity uh, against COVID-19, the percentage of people that need to be vaccinated against COVID could be anywhere from 70% as high as 85 or 90 percent. They're not really sure how high the vaccination rate has to be in order for us to reach herd immunity, but it's somewhere north of 70 percent of the population, right? I checked just this morning, just before I went out and uh, took care of my business, and I checked again right before I started recording this video to make sure I remembered. The vaccination rate in my county, Washington County, Maryland, the rate of people who have had at least one dose of a vaccine is a little bit north of 60%, still well below that lowest possibility for the herd immunity threshold. And the percentage of the population in my county that is fully vaccinated is 57%. So odds are very good that whenever I go out, I will be sharing a space with unvaccinated people. Hence, not only did I get my vaccines, I wear one of these fucking things when I go out and I know I'm going to be in an indoor environment with other people because I don't trust the people that I live around. I don't trust that they will have done the responsible thing. I know they're not doing the responsible thing anyway because I can see that they're not wearing masks, but I also don't trust that they have been vaccinated or even partially vaccinated because I'm surrounded. I live in Western Maryland, which is a deep red part of the state of Maryland. It's sometimes called the panhandle. If you look at the state of Maryland, it kind of looks, it's shaped like a panhandle. It ought to be shaped like an anchor because that's what the fuck it is to the rest of the state. It's holding back and dragging down the rest of Maryland because we are a deep red, deeply conservative area full of ignorant Trump voting dipshits. And I do not trust them to have done the right thing for themselves or for me or for anybody else in this community as far as COVID-19. So I wear one of these. I tweeted something yesterday. I uh, retweeted somebody who was making fun of Dean Cain, right? Because Dean Cain was on a, a flight from Canada, I guess, in the last day or so. And on the flight, he had to wear a mask. And he tweeted a photo of himself with his mask on. And he was like, I can't believe it. this is ridiculous that they have their... I am forced to wear a mask on this flight. And it just struck me that the... The shameless, naked, blatant hypocrisy of a lot of these anti-mask people. And I realize it's no surprise by this point we should all be used to the fact that conservatives and right-wingers and anti-maskers and conspiracy theorists, and I keep saying different words for the same thing, uh, are hypocrites and have double standards and, and are self-serving in their beliefs and their actions. But it's still a little shocking when I see it sometimes, because these are the people that are like, when they see people like me who are still wearing masks, who make sure to keep... Uh, up to date on our COVID vaccinations. They're like, oh my God, you guys are so weak. 
You really believe all this stuff? You're so weak. You're just sheep. You just do what you're told. You're just, you're a bunch of wusses. What? You go, oh, let me go get the vaccine. Oh, I have to wear a paper mask. I have to wear a paper mask when I go out in public. You guys are so weak, right? That's how they are. And then as soon as they find themselves in a situation where they have to have a proof of vaccination in order to enter like a venue or they have to wear a mask to go on a plane or on a bus or into a particular establishment. Oh, as soon as they run up against that, oh my God, I can't get they're making me wear a mask. Why do I have to wear a mask? <laughs> they're making me wear a mask. I don't want to have to wear a mask on my face. God, why are they being so mean to me? Why are they making me wear a mask? What about my rights? What about my liberty? It's been three years. Why do I still have to wear a mask? You you know why you still have to wear a mask after it's been three years? Because you haven't been wearing the fucking mask the entire time. You know why COVID is still uh, as prevalent as it is, even though the vaccines have been out for as long as they have? It's not because vaccines don't work. It's not because masks don't work. It's because you motherfuckers aren't wearing them, have never been wearing them, and haven't got the vaccines. That's why they don't work. That's why there's still such a high transmission rate. That's why people are still dying and getting sick. Because you. Because you haven't done your part. And sometimes they say, oh, you know, it's just theater. It's just theater. It's just virtue signaling. To wear a mask like this, ah, it's, it's just virtue signaling. They don't really, masks don't protect anybody. First of all, wrong. It's true that masks are have been found to be most effective when everybody's wearing them. That's definitely true. If I'm the only one wearing a mask in a group of people, then yes, my mask will be less effective for me than it would be if other people were wearing them as well, of course. But even if it's just me wearing a mask, if I'm wearing a KN95 mask like the ones that I wear, that re according to the CDC data that uh, came out uh, in February of this year, I think, the CDC found that wearing a KN95 or an N95 mask reduces the chance that you, the person wearing the mask, will test positive for COVID by 83%. Now, that's not a sure thing. That's not 100% protection. But 83% better odds are odds that I will definitely take when all I have to do is wear one of these things on my face while I'm out in public. It is literally nothing. The imposition on me is zero. It, it costs me nothing. And in fact, if I can tell myself in my head that maybe if some Trump voting anti-mask asshole sees me wearing this, it'll piss them off a little bit and ruin their day just by that much. It makes me want to wear it even more because fuck them. As long as you assholes, you anti-mask, anti-vax assholes are going to insist on not doing your part to protect yourselves and protect everybody else, I, at the very least, I'm going to do what little I can do to protect myself. And by the way, assholes, to protect all of you as well. I probably don't have it. I probably have never had it. I'm probably not going to get it. But by going out in public and wearing a mask and making sure that I'm up to date on my vaccinations, I am lowering the risk as much as possible that I will catch it, that I will get sick, that I will die. And I'm also lowering the risk that if I do happen to be a carrier of it at some point, that I will spread it around to other people. I and the rest of us who are still wearing masks and who have made sure to get our vaccinations, we are doing the bare minimum. It's not virtue signaling, it's bare minimum signaling. And the reason why it looks like virtue signaling to so many of you is because that's just how big of a piece of shit you are. You see people doing the bare minimum to behave responsibly during an ongoing public health crisis, and you think, oh, fucking virtue signalers, because you're that much of a piece of shit. And even though we know that wearing masks and getting vaccinated is not only going to protect us, but everybody, including fucking pieces of shit like you. We still do it. And I guess maybe that's virtue signaling. So, you're welcome.